Hello, welcome or welcome back to my channel. This is Amanda, otherwise known as the Tangle Skeins Crafter. And today I'm doing a little whip and review for the Crafter Squares Diamond Painting Keychain Kits from Dollar Tree. Um, I did a poll and the most votes went to the Cute Cupcake. So that's the one I'm going to be doing. Up. This cost me $1.25 for this one kit. It shows that it makes a keychain that's 2.4 by 3.1 inches or 6 by 8 centimeters. And it shows what comes in the kit, which is the, the actual um, plastic piece that the drills will go on. Drills, a tray, some wax, a pen, and the little keychain ring. Inside, there's, oh, it's not plastic. It's wooden. I did not realize it. I know the picture. <laughs> Now that I look at it, you can see, but I thought it was just like clear and showing the background. So, I actually like that. It's wooden. And then, what you put the drills on is, I guess, a sticker that will go on that piece of wood. It could just be one-sided. So the back's just going to be the wood. I almost would prefer it if it had been like acrylic in the picture showed through, but I'm not complaining. Alright, it has one sheet of paper in it, one sided, that shows instructions for how to do the diamond painting. So just to lay out the canvas sheet on a clean surface, shows that the um, symbols on the chart correspond with the labels on the diamonds. The cat is destroying something behind me, as usual. Shows you to pour, you know, a single color in the tray and shake the tray so the little drills will be pointing the correct way. It says to peel back a small section of the protective film, but I'm not going to do that because it's just too fiddly for me. I'm just going to peel the whole film off. And it says to dip the tip of the applicator, which is what they're calling the the diamond painting pen, in. Um, into some wax and then pick up a diamond and press it into the corresponding symbol. Add wax if the applicator didn't pick up the diamond. Doesn't actually explain how to pick the diamond up, but I'm assuming for most people it'll be self-explanatory. It shows you there's five colors. It shows you the pattern, the chart, which matches what's on the field here. And then what it should look like when it's done. Okay, the kit comes with the single placer pin, the green boat, and the wax, which is all you actually need to do it, but I'm going to use what I already have out and put that to the side. There's no point in me opening another one when I have that exact. I have 30 or 40 of those exact kits. And then here is the drills. One through five. Nice, bright, cheery colors. Nope, that made it worse. Sorry, I'm trying to get to where it shows well. Alright, my scissors. Get my tray. Get to my a pink pin and we will start with number one so far I I like it I mean for a dollar 25 I think it's pretty nice um, if I was paying more I would probably expect maybe I don't know the drills look just fine I was going to say maybe the acrylic, like I said, double-sided. Either double-sided 
or where the image shows through so the keychain won't be just one sided. It's got good stick to it. So go shake, shake, shake. Round side should be up, flat side, side. I wish I could talk. Flat side should be down. A little bit of wax in the pin. I don't know what's been up with this. My little rubber band thingies, I guess, aren't holding it in place right, and it's been twisting around on me. Alright, and then you just find the number one, and you place a drill, or what do they call it, diamond. They call them diamonds. I call them drills. And you just do that for every number one. I'm going to stop talking, so I can fast forward through Part of this so this isn't too long and boring for you because um I don't really have much to talk about I guess I could talk and not speed it up that way it's not just a five minute video um so how have y'all been doing <laughs> yes I am so awkward at talking do you have any plans for the upcoming weekend. I am actually recording this on a well, early Saturday morning before I go to sleep. I work tonight, but I did not work last night, so I'm just staying awake to stay on my work schedule, which is 8 p.m. to 8 a.m., and it is almost 6 a.m. So after I do this, I'll probably go and head to bed. Usually I don't get home till 9, 9.30 in the morning from work. So I try to stay up on my days off the, the same. Well, maybe not always the, as late, but close to. So I don't mess my sleep schedule up too much unless I have stuff to do the next day. Um, oh, I see some little... An odd shaped one and an itty bitty piece. But that can happen in more expensive kits too. So I will hold my actual opinion on that till the end. Um, let's see, I plan on uploading this probably the last week of the month because, or actually probably yeah, I'll be uploading this the last week of the month. So a couple weeks from now. Because I need to have some content for whenever I am going to be gone. And I'm leaving the last weekend of the month. I'll be gone until through, let's see, the second weekend of August. This is July. I hope you can see that the light, the glare is pretty bad. Um, cause I work this weekend, three days. I say weekend, but it's um, Saturday night, Sunday night, and Monday night. And then next weekend I work Saturday night, Sunday night, Monday night, and Tuesday night. And then add my schoolwork and everything on top of that. And I'm not going to have a whole lot of time to record. So I'm going to try to record a couple things over the next few days, whenever I get a chance, after work or something, and then upload them for the time I'll be gone. Um, I'll be gone to a concert. And then I'm leaving the day after the concert because the concert's out, out of town. And then I'm leaving out of state the day after. I'm going to be gone 10 days to visit family. I'm going to visit some relatives in Indiana and then 
that's a 12 to 14 hour drive and then I'm going to drive up to New York State and visit my son. I have not seen him. I say him and son just for ease of conversation. Um, they actually go by all pronouns but mostly they, them, but people tend to get confused. A lot of times I'll just say my older child, but that also confuses people. So I'll just say my son and he for ease. Um, I have not seen him in five years since I buried my grandmother, the woman who raised me. <sighs> this drill is just stuck. Okay. So my daughter and I plan to go up, like I said, visit some family in Indiana and then drive another eight hours to spend a day with him in New York. And I'm hoping to meet one of his partners while we're up there because I have not met any of his partners. And then maybe spend the night in New York and then go back to Indiana for a few more days and visit more family and some of my daughter's friends and family. That sounded weird, but my my family, my side of the family, and then you know visit one of her friends at least, and then some of the people on her side of the family, her dad's side of the family. I am just awkward talking and then spend a few more days in Indiana and then come back here just for me to go back to work for another three days. That's if they even give me the days off. If they don't, then I might spend more time in Indiana because then I'll have to resign from my position and then find another job when I come back because I'm not going to give up this chance to visit the family. I've never requested any days off from this job so I don't know if they're going to be unwilling to give me basically two weekends off in a row or not. So wish me luck on that. Um, I mean, if I do have to give up this job I'll still have the other job that I have and um, there's a lot of places around hiring that I could probably make as much money if not more and I'm making at this job plus less drive time since I drive about an hour each way for this job. Um, what else should I talk about? I read 25 books last month and I kind of got burnt out. I don't think I've finished well, I finished one book this month so far, and this is the 13th now. I finished Stephen King's It. That book did not age well for me. I read it whenever I was like a preteen or something. And I love the movies, and I loved the book back whenever I was young. But I think, one, I'm so used to reading like YA and romance that like quick easy reads even when they're a lot of pages they're like quick easy reads and then I do read some of the longer fantasy books and stuff like I've been reading Brandon Sanderson lately but it's like a lot of world building but also a lot of character development and stuff reading, listening to, because I didn't read it, I listened to it. Stephen King's It was almost torturous at times. It drags on so long. How did I read this whenever I was like a young teen or maybe even preteen? And the derogatory and terms and stuff in it, I know that one is kind of how a lot of people talked back when this was written. And two, I mean, the people using the terms, most of the people using the terms were not supposed to be good people anyway, but it just, 
bothered me. It made me so uncomfortable hearing some of these words over and over and over. It was just... And then I knew, I remembered some of the content in it was a little weird. I'm trying to think how to say it without one spoiling anything and two um, saying stuff that I don't really want to just be saying <laughs> in a video on my channel, but intimate contact between people of a very young age. I, f I remembered that was in there, but I forgot how descriptive and uncomfortable it is. <laughs> yes, you can skip over it and everything, but it's still, I, I forgot. So yeah, I still gave it like a four star rating because I still enjoy the story, but I think I've just, can you outgrow Stephen King writing? I don't know. People always complain about how long winded he is and descriptive and detailed and kind of boring at times, but I used to always love it. But reading that and before that, The Stand. The Stand was so much better, in my opinion, on the writing. I don't know. I just got into it more. Oh, I don't know. It was such just a long... A long read. So yeah, I've kind of burnt out on reading a little bit. I've been trying to read some books here and there. There's been some that my daughter wanted me to read. There's been some arcs that I was supposed to read and review. Um, I'm going to start number two now. I'm behind on some of them. I'm just not enjoying reading that much. But I am listening to Power, Powerless, which I'd been wanting to read for a while, and I'm starting to get into it. Number two, okay. So like a, number one was like a pale mint blue almost, and now it's a more of a light, I don't know what would you call it, just a light blue. Not exactly sky blue, baby blue. I'm bad with colors. But Powerless I'm enjoying so far. Um, I'm reading Perfect, which was the follow-up to, or the sequel to Impulse. I cannot remember the author right now because my daughter's been insisting and I'm just not getting into it. We went to the park today and had like a picnic and just sat and read for a couple hours. And that's what I was reading, and it was just, I'm reading through it pretty quickly, but I'm just not enjoying it that much. I'm not disliking it, it's just it's not getting my interest. And it's depressing. If you haven't read Impulse and Perfect, it's, they're both depressing. Um, I'm reading a couple arcs also, but it's just been dragging. I just have not been wanting to read. I haven't been wanting to stitch either. I haven't stitched anything in days. I don't even think I stitched any last weekend at work and that's when I usually stitch because I'm just sitting there for 12 hours at a time. Um, I got my new tablet and I downloaded IQIYI so I've been watching a lot of Thai BLs and Chinese dramas at work because I just download them on my tablet since the internet's really bad out at work and then I've just been watching those while my client sleeps. Just tap the screen to pause it real quick if he gets up and I escort him to the bathroom or whatever to bring him something to drink or eat and then Usually goes back to sleep, and then I just go back to watching the show. And since I've been watching Thai and, and Chinese dramas, I've been reading subtitles, so I haven't been wanting to be looking at my hands. I downloaded some English shows 
English language shows. I don't I don't do dubbed. I, I subbed. I don't really like dubbed things, but um, downloaded some English shows on Netflix to watch this time, so maybe I'll stitch while watching those. I watched Bridgerton, I think last weekend. Finished that. I really liked this season. I, I, I think my favorite season will always be the first one. And I'd read the books whenever, years ago. So I kind of know what the basic premise of each season, I guess, so far. I mean, shows aren't exactly like the books, of course, but, but I really enjoy Bridgerton. I have not watched, um, what's the other one called, like Queen Charlotte? I haven't watched that yet, so maybe I should download that and watch it. Whenever I'm not watching stuff, I have a lot of mobile games. <laughs> just tap tap games, I call them. Just tapping the screen. Time wasters that I'll play, like merge games. So I got one and two done. Put the excess of the two, and I'll start on three. And I've downloaded some um, RPG games fantasy games and stuff, but I haven't tried them out yet. I couldn't tell you the names of them off the top of my head. But yeah, I just, I'm, I'm in that phase of not wanting to do anything. I think reading as much as I did and stitching as much as I did last month just kind of made me not want to do anything this month. I wasn't doing any stitching challenges or anything. It's just I listened to quite a few audiobooks. I mean, I was reading stuff too. I read a lot of ebooks, but um, I listened to a lot of long audiobooks and uh, was stitching while I was listening last month. So this month I just haven't wanted to do anything. And my daughter, you know, she's still home from college. She's only here for a few more weeks. So I've been trying to spend time with her going shopping, visiting um, her best friend's birthday was this week. So we went into the town she lives in, the city she lives in, and met her at like Barnes & Noble and got her a book. Just hung out with a little, little bit before she had to go to work. And we went shopping for um, clothes for my daughter try to pick out a cool outfit for the 80s concert coming up. Went out to eat. Um, Chili's. We have a Chili's in the town near where we live, so we usually don't go there when we go into the city that we were in because we like to go places where we can't easily access, you know. But it just sounded good, and she really wanted their peach tea, and I wanted their blackberry tea. And then we got there, and they were out. They did not. They no longer have the peach tea on their menu, which was disappointing. And then we ordered some wings for appetizer, and then they didn't have the sauce. After we ordered them, they came in like, "We're so sorry, but we used the last of that sauce last night." <laughs> And then, so I ordered a different sauce, which threw off what she was going to order because she was going to get um, something that had that sauce on it also, and she didn't want, you know, two different things with that sauce. So then she changed her total order and then ended up not even really liking what she got. And it's just, it wasn't a waste of money. I mean, we got full. Uh, I brought most of my actual meal home and my husband ended up eating it for dinner. I'm doing number four now, I forgot to say. The yellow. It just wasn't what we wanted so it was a little disappointing. Do you eat at Chili's? Do you have a Chili's where you live? What do you order? I order blackberry tea and almost always get the chicken bacon ranch quesadilla. Every once in a while I'll get the triple dipper. But they stopped 
making the fried cheese curds. And that was one of the things I always got. Now they have these really big mozzarella sticks, which I have not tried yet. But I heard they're really good. Certain thing. I, I mean, we were thinking maybe one reason we kind of were craving chilies is because we had been watching um, these artists on YouTube. I'm trying to remember the names. I just remember Johnny Gilbert. But we were watching them. They'd went to Chili's and ordered some really good looking food. Smokehouse. I can't remember what it's called. The Smokehouse combo maybe. And all these margaritas which my daughter is almost old enough now to be able to order. So probably next time we go maybe we'll try a margarita. But yeah, I think that's why Chili's was in our in our heads. Because we were watching them, I think, either that morning or the night before. I think the night before. I feel weird just sitting here rambling. I probably should have just cut it all out and sped it up, but I'm committed now. <laughs> um, have you all? Read any good books lately? Have you watched any good movies? Got any shows you recommend? I saw Fifty Shades of Grey is on Netflix. So I was like, maybe I finally will watch that. I've never watched it or read the books. Do you have a special treat when you go into a city or town that you usually don't go into? There's some stores that we like to visit when we go into the city that we were in, but we did not go to most of them. Um, usually we'll go to like half price books and five below just because why not see what they have. And Ross, which I think the town that we live by is getting a Ross. Sometimes I'll go into like a Joann's or a Michael's because all I have is a Hobby Lobby near me. But we were focused on just looking at clothes and then I think both of us had had hardly any sleep because usually I'm asleep at the time we were in the city. So after we ate we were just done and we'd only been to one place shopping. So we just came on home and just rotted on the couch for a while. It was a good day though. Okay, number four is done. The only thing left is number five. It was throwing me off because I'm used to the color background being the same for all of one number and like it's different on this. So it was throwing me off a little bit but I think this turned out pretty cute. There's just the one number left. It's hard to give little kits like this ratings, really. Because, I mean, you kind of get what you pay for in some of these kits, you know? And this was $1.25. But honestly, I think this is probably really good quality for a dollar twenty-five. Just depends on how well it holds up, I think. It's um if you've never done diamond painting, this would be a great start. Cause it's small and it's cute and it's really easy to do. It's got the little guide circles. So you know where to place the diamond, diamonds as it calls it. I still call them drills usually. Um, it comes with everything you need to complete it, including the keychain, key ring thing. And it's got instructions so you don't have to just go blindly in. And like I said, it's, it's small. 
So yeah, I think I would recommend this to someone who's just looking to try out a diamond painting kit that doesn't want to make, you know, a big expenditure on it. It's like me, I have different trays and different pens and different waxes and, and you don't need all that. All you need is what came with the kit. Um, I feel that younger children could do these as long as they're old enough to have halfway decent hand-eye coordination and are old enough not to, you know, to know not to eat the drills <laughs> or the wax. Because I know little kids, you know, I've raised two kids and I know how things tend to go in their mouths. but small children with supervision or you know old enough that they don't need supervision might enjoy doing these nice little busy activity for when they can't be outside or or if they're restricted on their television or internet then you know something just to do with their hands young ones might help them identify the numbers because I'll have to be looking for the specific number that matches what's on here so they could be like oh look that goes like this that goes like this so this matches so it goes there so it's crafty creative and good hand-eye coordination activity and learning Activity. Sorry. I swear my brain just shuts off as I'm talking sometimes. So I think since I, even though, like I said, it's it's difficult to rate a little kit. I think I'm gonna give this, especially for what it is, five out of five. I don't really do like point points or you know halves or quarters I mean if I did maybe a four and a half out of five since I'm not sure about it being on wood even though I love wood crafts and it's more of an ornament size than a keychain size to me but it's really cute I thought all of the kits were cute Especially like the cactus, which is probably what I'll end up doing next time. I do one of the keychains. I might take it with me to Indiana so I have like a little craft I can do. I'm going to take some stitching with me up there too. And uh, just so I'll have it. But I don't know. There's going to be most of the days we're going to be there, we're going to be running to different people's houses. Because I have a huge family and I want to visit at least part of them because I haven't seen any of them since my mother's funeral, grandmother's funeral, but mother's funeral five years ago, a little over five years ago. So I want to visit as many as I can who live in that area, which most a lot of my family lives in the area. And then I want to see part of my daughter's family which is basically just her aunt and cousin because everybody else has moved off or passed and then like I said I want to go see my son which is another eight hour drive to New York where he lives and then another eight hour the next day drive back to Indiana so I don't know how much time I'm going to have for crafting or reading or anything I mean be a lot of music listened to because that's what me and my daughter do in the car we listen to music and sing along loudly so 14 14 28 another 8 <laughs> 36 hours of singing loudly probably
Okay, so that is finished. I think it looks really cute. It does not. It does not tell you like how to put it together. It's just a picture of the final thing, which I mean, it's self-explanatory kind of or instinctual, I guess, but at the same time as like without someone telling you and you've never if you've never seen anything like this before I mean how are you going to know that you need to peel this off and put this on here pardon me if I get this very wonky I'm horrible at centering stuff and horrible at getting stuff lined up but there's that doesn't come with any kind of sealant or anything so I'll probably use some sealer over it but I mean they're stuck on there good and the sticker is stuck to the wood good so I don't think anything's going to fall off anytime soon so but if you're going to use it as an actual keychain I would probably recommend sealing it and then I guess to put this on the wood you need to open up this little what's it called a jump ring put it on and then close it back up which means you need some kind of maybe needle nose pliers or something unless you have the hand strength or really strong nails to pry that apart because otherwise there's no way to put the chain on there like it shows so that's another kind of so I'm going to drop this down to a four star rating. Four star out of five. Close to, closer to four and a half, but I want to say four star because, uh, see I'm already just tearing that up. Because I feel like the um, instructions could have been a little clearer. They shouldn't just assume. Ah, I'm going to stop messing with that before it irritates me. They shouldn't assume that you know that that's a sticker and that that will peel off and stick on there. People might think you have to cut it out and glue it. There's no instructions telling you. And then it doesn't tell you how to put it onto the keyring. But for the, the kit itself, I think it's really good for $1.25. Um, it had plenty of drills, has a lot of leftover drills, um, plenty of wax. It's got, you know, just the regular pin and everything, everything you need. Um, pretty clear instructions. Even though I honestly, I feel like it's kind of pointless to have the pattern printed, but maybe you'll want to reuse it. I don't know. But yeah, not a bad kit for $1.25. It's like four stars for overall with the instructions and putting it together and stuff, but five stars just for the actual little diamond painting. <laughs> Cause is adorable. I got a couple little wonky beads here and there, but I hope that wasn't confusing. My two ratings kind of evens out, I guess, to a four and a half star, but it just bothers me that the instructions aren't just a little more clear. Like, well, not even that, just that there's no instructions on how to finish it, how to put it together. Yeah. So this is 39 minutes. That's not too long. So um, I thank you for spending this time with me and listening to me ramble for this little whip and chat and review. <laughs> and I will probably see you again soon. 
Um, let me know if you want to see videos or anything of me or time lapses of me doing the other keychains. Because these are adorable. Love that cactus. And um, I don't know if I'm going to actually make them all into keychains. Because I don't, I'm not going to use them as keychains. We will see. But yeah. I don't know if they have any other um, designs. These are the four that I saw at my local Dollar Tree. Let me know if you've seen any other ones. If you have a Dollar Tree, um, let me know if you're going to get these or have gotten them and what you think of them. And let me know if you want to see me do any of the other ones. Alright, so I am going to get off here. I'm probably going to hit the bed for a few hours before working tonight. Um, I thank you so much for sticking with me this far. Um, if you enjoyed this video at all, please consider liking, subscribing if you haven't, sharing it with people that might find it interesting. And I thank you so much. Bye-bye.